Hello friends! Today I will tell you the mysterious story of a very interesting character that you might not have noticed in Avatar World. This character can only be found in the mall on the second floor. However, when you go up to the second floor you won't be able to find it. You may ask why? I'll explain now. It's a robot named Richard, and to find it, you'll have to assemble it first. Richard's robot parts are scattered all over the mall. Do you know how it happened? Now I'm going to tell you why Richard's robot parts are scattered all over the mall. A long time ago, the Richard robot was sold in a hardware and electronics store. He wasn't the only robot in the store. There was a Robodog, a Robocat, and one robot alien. They were all friends, and Richard was the oldest among the robots. But why was it removed from the store? I'll tell you everything now. In the very first version of Avatar World, Richard Robot was really in an electronics store. He was next to the shelf where the robot alien was standing. However, in subsequent versions of the game, Richard was no longer there. The fact is that Richard was a great robot, but he had one big drawback. The very first thing that started to be sold in this store was the very robot Richard. Consequently, he was already a very old robot. And over time, visitors stopped playing with him at all. Because Richard lost interest in adults, the store staff decided to give him to the children in the toy store. They decided not only to give it to them, but also to turn it into a puzzle. In the toy store, they put up a figure resembling Richard's robot, and parts of the robot itself were scattered all over the mall so that it would be interesting for children to assemble it. The first person who decided to assemble the robot entirely was a girl named Susie. Susie noticed this robot model at the very end of the store and started looking for parts for the robot. The first detail that Susie noticed was, of course, the robot's head. It was lying right next to Richard's robot model. Unfortunately, not all the parts were as easy to find, so Susie decided to start her search at the electronics store. The girl approached the salesperson and asked if he knew where a part of the robot could be. The salesperson smiled but wouldn't give her a direct answer, as it was meant to be a mystery. However, he did provide her with a small hint, suggesting that she should search in boxes, not in the display window. Susie began to unpack all the boxes in the store. She decided to start with a green and purple box because these are her favorite colors. Unfortunately, there were headphones in these boxes and there were no parts from Richard's robot in them. She found the item in the pink box. Susie was very happy with the find. She thanked the seller and went to put this part in the robot. Susie thought that the rest of the parts could be on the ground floor because there were so many places where one could hide a part of the robot. She went downstairs and headed to the beauty salon. At first, she couldn't find anything, but after looking more closely, she noticed that the robot's hand was lying right inside a box with pens. It was Richard's robot's second leg. After finding the part, Susie went to the beauty salon's cash register. Susie asked if she knew where the rest of the robot's parts were. The cashier replied that she knew and told Susie where the rest of the details were. Susie was very happy about this and quickly ran for the rest of the details. Soon, when all the parts for Richard's robot were found, the girl began to put them together. And finally, Richard was completely assembled. The girl Susie was very happy that she had found a new friend. Now, Richard the robot was not in an electronics store as before, but in a toy store. All the children who came to this store played with the robot, and they really liked it. Well, now I'm going to tell you another mysterious story about a character who, like Richard and Susie, works in a shopping mall. This character's name is Katie, and she works in a beauty salon on the first floor. Katie has been working as a hairdresser for a very long time, since the opening of the shopping center. Despite her bright and open nature, she always had a mysterious aura. Her eyes always seemed full of secrets, and she rarely talked about her personal life. Everything she said was related to the world of Avatar World and her work in the salon. Now I will tell you about her secret hobby, which no one knows about. At night, when the mall closes and all the visitors and employees go home, Katie goes up to the third floor. Her secret is that she loves racing. The girl gets behind the wheel of a racing car and starts racing. Katie is so good at playing that she can stay in the game room all night. Secretly, Katie was becoming the best racer in Avatar World, masterfully driving her virtual racing car and training on difficult tracks against rivals. She loved competing for speed and had no equal in this. Katie, with her seemingly inconspicuous appearance, with a quiet and modest lifestyle, was the last person that colleagues would think about when it came to racing. She knew how to keep secrets, and this was one of the reasons why no one guessed about her nocturnal adventures. No one knows that Katie dreams of becoming a professional racer and participating in real Avatar World races. However, it is quite possible that one day, Katie's secret will become known 
and she will be able to continue competing in races, but in front of a real audience. But until then, she enjoys night racing in her cozy hideout, where she is the queen of speed and adrenaline. Well, it's time to tell about the character who works in the very gaming club where Katie plays racing at night. This mysterious character is called Jeremy. Jeremy started working in the mall not so long ago, namely from the opening day of the third floor. He works as a cashier in a gaming club. The secret that Jeremy knows makes him one of the most mysterious characters in Avatar world. Now I will tell you it. One evening, Jeremy went to have dinner at a cafe on the third floor, but it turned out that it closed a little earlier than usual that day. Jeremy was upset because he didn't have time to have dinner, and now he's going to starve all night. He was trying to figure out how he wouldn't stay hungry all night. Suddenly, he had an idea. Jeremy decided that he could cook his own food in the kitchen at the cafe. There were so many ingredients in the hamburger machine that Jeremy's mouth watered. At first, he didn't even know what to choose from such a huge variety of vegetables, cheeses, and meats available. Jeremy pondered over the choice for a while, and then a brilliant idea struck him. Instead of selecting just a few ingredients for his burger, Jeremy decided to add absolutely all the available ingredients to it. Jeremy added more and more ingredients until the burger reached the ceiling. And so, when the hamburger finally reached the ceiling, something happened that Jeremy did not expect. When the hamburger got so big that it reached the ceiling, a small crown of real gold fell out. Jeremy was very surprised by such a surprise. However, the crown is so small that it did not fit on his. And yet Jeremy's stomach reminded him of why he had come to this cafe. So he took his new golden crown along with a huge hamburger and went to eat. Jeremy sat down on the seat with the sofa and put his hamburger on the table. The burger was so big that it took up the entire table and Jeremy had nowhere to put the crown. But there was a toy hamburger lying next to the sofa and Jeremy decided to place the crown on it. And so, when Jeremy put the crown on him, something happened that he definitely could not have expected. This burger suddenly came to life. Jeremy couldn't believe his eyes when he started dancing and talking. At first, Jeremy was scared of the hamburger, but then he wondered who he was and what he was doing here. Jeremy tried to talk to Hamburger to find out who he is. Hamburger looked at Jeremy with surprise because no one had put a crown on a hamburger in this cafe before him. Hamburger said he had a name. His name is Sammy Sandwich and for the entire existence of the cafe, Jeremy is the first person Sammy spoke to. Well, Sammy Sandwich said that he used to live not in Avatar world, but in a magical world. And they don't have people and animals in the world. Instead, there lives a variety of food, sweets, pizzas, hamburgers, and many others. The difference between this live food and what is eaten in Avatar world is its size. In the magical world, all food is the size of Sammy and even bigger. Sammy came to Avatar world for a reason. He has long dreamed of visiting Avatar world and seeing the people and animals that live there, as well as the food that is cooked there. Sammy Sandwich and Jeremy talked about everything all night. And when morning came and the cafe was about to open, Sammy asked Jeremy not to tell anyone about his secret. Jeremy promised that he would fulfill his request. Now Jeremy has a new, very unusual and interesting friend, and the story that happened to him at night in a cafe, Jeremy remembered for a lifetime. Hello everyone! Today I will tell you a story about a character who has a very interesting and mysterious secret that no one knows. This character is different from the others in that he is one of the most secretive characters in Avatar world. After all, you can only find it in one place, at the train station. Few people know the name of this character, but now I'll tell you. His name is Dustin, but due to the fact that very few people in Avatar world know his real name, people started calling him Steel Statue. They called him that because when people approached him, he froze becoming motionless like a statue. Every day when the trains passed, this mysterious character stood in the same place, motionlessly looking at the approaching cars. His presence attracted a lot of rumors. Some thought it was a new kind of art, a living statue, Others believe that he was the guard of some hidden treasure at the train station. One day a girl named Caitlin came to the train station late at night. Caitlin has always loved spending time at Avatar World train station after school. But this time, she was a little late and came to the train station almost at midnight. The train station was a meeting place for Caitlin and her friends living in different parts of Avatar World. But lately the station has become even more special because of one person I told you about earlier, because of Dastin. He attracted the attention of Caitlyn by the fact that his skin sparkled with a metallic luster, and he always froze in the most unexpected poses, like an eternal sculpture that comes to life only for a moment. Caitlyn decided to ask her friends if anyone had heard about Dustin's secret. Her friends thought that Caitlyn was just joking, because no one in Avatar world really knows his secret. It was already very dark outside, and the girl's friends began to go home. But Caitlyn decided to stay at the train station until the morning to find out Dustin's secret. 
She stood in front of him and stared at him intently to notice how he was moving. However, Dustin stood completely still, and after an hour of observation, Caitlin decided to sit down not far from this mysterious character and continue watching him. As soon as Caitlin sat down, she immediately felt that she wanted to sleep, but at the same time, she really wanted to see if Dustin would move from his place. And yet, a few minutes later, Caitlin fell asleep and slept until the following morning. In the morning, she was woken up by a strange sound. It was as if someone had approached her and was standing beside her. It was Dustin. He saw that the girl had been sitting at the train station all night to see how he was moving and decided to tell her his secret anyway. When Caitlin woke up, she was very happy. Caitlin immediately asked Dustin why he was constantly staying motionless. Dustin said that he was an actor in a local theater, but he was kicked out of there. But he really liked to show his acting skills and he decided to please and surprise all visitors to Avatar World. Caitlin wanted to find out why his skin and clothes were metallic in color. She asked questions about it, and he replied that, in fact, his skin is not always this color. Before arriving at the train station, Dustin gets painted with special paint. Caitlin wondered what she would look like if she were painted the same color. Then Dustin replied that he had a can of paint with him and he could paint Caitlin. Caitlin was very happy and agreed to paint. And now Caitlin and Dustin have become the same color. Of course, Caitlin, unlike Dustin, did not know how to freeze in different poses, but this did not prevent them from performing at the train station together. Since then, Caitlin has become the only person in Avatar world who knows Dustin's secret, and now she has a very unusual friend with whom she was always happy to have fun. Well, now I'm going to tell you a story about a brand new character that you can meet in the school cafeteria. This is Rachel, and she and her husband work here as cooks. However, Grandma Rachel has one very mysterious secret. So earlier in her youth, she worked not as a cook, but as a professional basketball player. Yes, Rachel was really good at basketball. She played in the basketball team of her school for almost 10 years. And during that time, she learned to play very well. While Rachel was playing basketball, her future husband Frank also had an unusual job. He was not a cook as he is now, but a rock star who performed at a concert in front of dozens of Avatar World residents. He was very good at playing guitar and was a very popular person in Avatar World. And so, both of these characters had nothing to do with the work of a cook. But how did it happen that they met and became cooks together? One day, Frank came to give a concert at the school where Rachel was playing basketball. He was supposed to perform right in the school cafeteria. At that moment, Rachel was sitting there after training. She had dreamt of going to Frank's concert all her life, but she couldn't do it because of frequent training. And so Rachel still managed to attend Frank's concert. After the concert, she decided to approach him to get an autograph. When Frank and Rachel saw each other, they realized they were in love. Since then, Frank and Rachel have often come to this dining room together to have lunch together. And so, a few months later, Frank and Rachel decided to get married. They held a wedding in nature, to which they invited a lot of guests. When Frank and Rachel got older, they decided they wanted to work together. However, there was a problem with that. Frank couldn't play basketball at all, and Rachel couldn't play rock guitar. They have been thinking for a long time where they can work together. And suddenly, Rachel came up with a brilliant idea. She offered Frank a job where they met. Frank immediately agreed and was very happy with the idea. Frank and Rachel got a job in the same school cafeteria where they met many years ago. They both studied for a long time how to cook properly. And over time, they began to cook the most delicious food in this dining room. Frank and Rachel were very happy that they could delight school children with delicious food every day and at the same time work and be together all the time. The students loved the food they were cooking. For the sake of Rachel's spaghetti and Frank's soups, the children stood in a huge queue for them at every break because everyone wanted to have time to try what their favorite chefs had prepared. Over time, Frank and Rachel began to work even better thanks to the fact that Frank was constantly in the kitchen and cooked food and Rachel put it on plates and served it to school children. After a few years of work, these great chefs began to be invited to work in larger establishments such as bakeries and pizzerias because they began to cook the best food in Avatar World, but they constantly refused because the school cafeteria for them is not just a workplace, but a whole history of getting to know each other. So, remember that in the very first story I said that Caitlin came to the train station later than usual because she stayed at school a little longer? Now I'm going to tell you this secret story. Caitlin came to school early in the morning because she really doesn't like to be late. She, as usual, sat down at her desk, and at that moment, the lesson had already begun. On this day, Caitlin had as many as seven lessons. And so, at the very end of classes, 
teacher Alice left the office a little earlier than usual to meet with the parents of the students. At this time, Caitlin was so tired that she fell asleep. When the bell rang, all the students left the classroom, and no one noticed that Caitlin fell asleep right on her desk. Caitlin slept for a few more hours after the end of classes and only then woke up. When she woke up, she didn't immediately realize what had happened. She realized that she had slept all day at school when she looked out the window and it was dark as night. Caitlin immediately ran to the exit, but it turned out to be closed. The girl was very confused because she realized that the door would be closed until tomorrow morning, until the students and teachers come to school. For a long time, she could not figure out how to get out of school and catch a meeting with friends at the train station, with whom she had agreed to meet this evening. So, Caitlin decided to start screaming in the hope that someone would stay at school and hear her. But for a very long time, no one came to the rescue. The janitor also fell asleep, and all the teachers and students have long gone home. However, one character still stayed at school for the night. It was Frank, and he stayed at school overnight to prepare food for the next day in advance. Frank is the only one who heard Caitlin's screams, and he immediately ran to find out what happened. When Frank reached the door, the girl explained to him through the door that she could not leave the office because it was closed. Frank knew where the keys to all the offices were, so he was quickly able to help Caitlin get out of this office. And so, thanks to Frank, Caitlin managed to get out of the office. She was very happy that she didn't have to spend the whole night at school. After she left the office, she immediately ran to the train station to catch a meeting with her friends. Her friends thought that Caitlin would not come and had already started to leave, but in this time, Caitlin burst through the door. Caitlin, catching her breath, told an exciting story about how she miraculously managed to avoid getting stuck at school. Her friends could not believe the sequence of events that unfolded and listened attentively as she described her meeting with Frank, who came to her rescue. That's how Caitlin managed to make it to a meeting with friends, despite the unusual nature of the story that happened. Hello, friends. Today, I will tell you about the most important character of the game, Avatar World. No one knows her real name in history, but today, I will tell you in detail about it. We can see this girl on the Avatar World game icon, but nothing is said about her in the game itself. However, I still managed to find information about her. I wrote to the developers of Avatar World, and this is what I learned. The main character's name is Ella. Ella was an unusual character in Avatar World. Few people knew her name, and no one could find her inside the game itself. The game icon always depicted her cute face and bright eyes, but when the application was launched, she disappeared somewhere. It was her secret, and it remained unsolved until the last. Ella was a passionate observer and researcher. She adored hidden details and secrets in games, which is why she decided to hide from the eyes of the players. Ella preferred to observe the world while remaining invisible. She spent her days exploring various corners of Avatar World. She found hidden trails and caves that led to unexplored places. Her love for nature and animals was pronounced. Ella has always tried to help animals in need and learn more about them. Her hobbies included art and music. She often hid in galleries and concert halls, listening to music and being inspired by works of art. Her presence has always been elusive, but remained noticeable in the inspiration she brought to the gaming world. Ella loved riddles and puzzles. Avatar World is full of various unsolved secrets, as well as things that few people know about. But Ella is one of those who knows absolutely all the secrets of Avatar World. Everything from the oldest to the newest, in the forest and in the city. Unfortunately, Ella has no friends at all, but they are replaced by her favorite animals and nature, where she spends most of her free time. The next character whose story I'm going to tell is a waiter. The waiter works in a big house of rich parents on the edge of the city. He works at the drinks counter, but sometimes delivers food all over the two-story house. This waiter is already 53 years old, and that's a lot. He used to work at the zoo, but then he quit and found a quieter job, in a private large house on the outskirts of the city. He has been working in this house for five years. He knows the whole house by heart for a long time. The waiter really loves his job. He, like Ella, likes different interesting secrets. This house is full of unsolved mysteries. Just look at this tree. Not any berries grow on it, but diamonds. Sometimes, after hard work, the waiter comes here and rests in this huge bed. Would you like to own such a house? Write in the comments. Hmm, what happens if you call the waiter when he is already here? He'll just say hello. By the way, the waiter does not work alone in this house. There is also a cleaner who constantly dusts, cleans the house, washes clothes, and does a lot more. And there is also a pianist who plays the piano very beautifully all day long and entertains the owners of this house. I will also tell the story of the pianist in this video. The pianist is a very interesting character. 
Few people know, but there are as many as two pianists in Avatar World. One of them is a colleague of our previous hero. But the second pianist has nothing to do with this house and the people working in it. He works in the ballet hall, plays music for girls who study ballet with their teacher. This pianist used to work in a barber shop, but later he was fired. Do you know why he became a pianist? In fact, it's all because his daughter goes to the ballet. The pianist himself does not know how to dance, but in order to support his daughter every day, he decided that he would play the piano in the ballet hall. By the way, have you ever seen the husband of the owner of this house on the edge of town? Yes, yes, this is the same pianist from the ballet hall. That is why there are two pillows on the bed in the bedroom. One for the hostess of this house, and the second for the pianist. The name of this great pianist is Antonio. Antonio remained a pianist who not only brought music, but also inspiration, beauty, and harmony to the world of Avatar World. His house on the edge of the city became a symbol of creativity and kindness, and his music was forever inscribed in the history of this magical world. Now I will tell the story of the teacher from the ballet hall. This teacher's name is Rosa. She was a famous ballerina when she was young. All her movements were incredibly beautiful and she was very famous. However, over time, when Rosa got older and her body could no longer dance the way it used to, she decided to share her knowledge with the children. Despite her age, she was 60 years old, she became a ballet teacher and began teaching children. Every day she came to the ballet hall, where music from Antonio was playing and taught the children ballet. It was important for her to pass on her passion for this kind of art to a new generation. Rosa knew that each of them could become a star. But where did Rosa live? In addition to being a teacher at the ballet hall, Rosa worked at a children's camp, and her home was there. In it, she could cook together with her students, tell scary stories, and much more. The house in the camp is so huge that it was divided into three different buildings. How many awards do you think Rose has received in her entire career? Let's count it together. There are three medals hanging on the wall with the picture. However, these are not all the awards that Rose has. And so, to get the rest of the awards, just repeat after me. You need to open the lock with the key that lies in Antonio's piano. Wow, have you seen this? Rose has become a child again, picking up this award. This is the most important award in the Rose Collection. She got it at the World Ballet Championships. And now, this award can rejuvenate her when Rose picks it up. Rose has five awards in total. Three medals and two cups. Does this girl that Rosa turns into remind you of anyone? Yes, it's the same ballerina from the picture on the wall near the medals. The painting depicts a Rose when she was 13 years old. Well, now I'm going to tell you the story of one of the most mysterious characters in the game Avatar World. Yes, yes, I'm talking about the very character who is constantly sitting at the train station. The character everyone called Professor Hat was a permanent resident of the station in Avatar World. He looked mysterious and fascinating. Among the crowd of inhabitants of this magical world, his outstanding features were a little strange. He spent hours sitting on a bench around the station, watching the trains coming and going. His gaze was always fixed on the distance, as if he was expecting something important. It is not known why he was so often at the station, but his presence gave this place a mystery. Many residents of Avatar World called Professor Hat the Station Keeper. They thought he had a connection to other worlds and could help people if they needed to get to new places. His real story remained a mystery, and everyone who met him felt a slight excitement and hope for adventures. There are rumors that Professor Hat can sometimes be found in the supermarket, but no one really knows whether it's true or not. Professor Hat is so mysterious that no one even knows where he lives. There is a legend in Avatar World that Professor Hat arrives at the train station early in the morning every day and leaves somewhere late at night. What do you think? Where can Professor Hat really live and why does he have to come to the train station early in the morning every time? But this is not the end of Professor Hat's story. Many people thought that Professor Hat was a former engineer or railroad worker who was close in spirit to old trains and railways. He was always polite and willing to share stories about what the old days of railway travel were like. Although Professor Hat looked mysterious, his stories about past times and his kindness made him one of the favorite characters among the residents of Avatar World. At the train station, his presence always brought a sense of comfort and nostalgia, and many people believed that meeting him became part of their own journeys and stories. Hello, everyone. 
Today, I'm going to tell you a story that you've definitely never heard of. This story will be about one character that you all probably know, but what I'm going to tell you about her today will shock you. This character's name is Ava. Ava can be found at the picnic spot. Not far from the clearing, she does yoga. Ava is an unusual character. She likes to do yoga in nature, but before she was completely unrelated to yoga. Ava used to work as a DJ. She was the best DJ in Avatar World. She was constantly performing at Avatar World nightclub. When her songs were played in the club, the whole audience certainly started dancing and having fun on the dance floor. Both adults and teenagers went to this club. All the residents of Avatar World loved Ava and her songs very much. She was even thanked by the mayor of Avatar World himself, presenting her with a medal. Unfortunately, over time, fewer and fewer people began to come to her performances. Ava didn't understand why this was happening, because everyone used to love her and her music, and now no one comes to the dance club. The public's interest in Ava was gradually disappearing. She decided to learn to dance so that the audience would be surprised, because Ava didn't know how to dance at all before. When the club closed for the night, Ava, instead of going home to sleep, stayed in the club. You may ask why? In fact, during the day, she met a person who, like no one else, could help her learn to dance the best. This person's name is Riley, and she is the best break dancer in the Avatar world. Riley came to Ava's club and started teaching her break dancing. They turned on the music on the speakers and danced all night. And now the morning has come. Ava has already learned to break dance very well. Therefore, she and Riley invited all the residents of the Avatar world to a party. A lot of people really came to the party. Even the mayor of the Avatar world himself came to watch Ava's promising breakdance. But the breakdancer completely forgot that they don't have a DJ, because Ava herself has always been one. She thought for a long time who could replace her, and remembered that her friend Flora had recently also become a DJ. Earlier, Ava taught Flora to be a DJ right in this club. Flora agreed to help Ava and perform at the party. She got behind the DJ stand and turned on the music. Ava put down the mat and started to break dance, and Riley stood aside and supported her. All the spectators were delighted with Ava's dance, except one. It turned out to be breakdancer Jack who came at the end of Ava's dance. He was unhappy that Ava wanted to take his place as the best dancer of the club. To prevent this from happening, he decided to ruin the party. While everyone was distracted by Ava dancing, Jake sneaked up to the DJ stand and turned off all the music in the club. Ava was confused by the unexpected silence and fell, hitting her foot. The audience didn't understand what had happened. But then they saw Jake laughing at the fallen Ava and guessed everything. Ava's leg hurt a lot, but she continued her performance anyway. After the dance, Ava approached Jake and offered to arrange a breakdance duel for the title of the best dancer in the club. They agreed to arrange a duel the next day. And so, the next day Ava and Jake gathered at the club to hold their breakdance duel. The stage was prepared, and the audience was already looking forward to the start of the battle. Ava felt that she needed to prove to herself and everyone in the club that despite her injury, she could still be the best dancer. The music started playing and Ava and Jake took the stage. They were standing opposite each other, ready to start the battle. A fierce fight began in which both dancers demonstrated their skills and passion for dancing. Ava, despite the pain in her leg, embodied all her strength and emotions in her movements. Her style was elegant and expressive. Jake also put all his skill and passion into the performance. He was a master of tricks and spins, the audience was delighted with the skill level of both dancers. Finally, the moment of truth has come. Ava and Jake made their last outstanding moves and then immediately concluded their performance. The audience burst into applause. Ava and Jake thanked each other and have been good friends ever since. After the battle, Ava finally decided that she wanted to be a dancer, not a DJ. And Flora, who played at the performance, was happy to work as a DJ in this club. To be the best dancer, Ava decided that she would do yoga right in the fresh air. Therefore, now Ava can very often be found in nature doing yoga. And sometimes, what happened to only a few people on the planet, she can be found dancing breakdancing in a club. I'll tell you a secret. She usually appears there at night to also arrange dance battles with other Avatar World dancers. Well, now I'm going to tell you about a character that no one knows anything about. He maintains his mystery thanks to his peculiarity. This character is Guard Howard. Howard's peculiarity is that he constantly sleeps even while at work. He works as a security guard at the Avatar World train station, and due to his constant fatigue, Howard wants to sleep all the time. Do you wonder why he's always tired? I'll tell you now. Howard has a very unusual hobby. When night falls, instead of going to bed like most people, he heads to the same club where Ava used to dance. But Howard isn't there to dance. In fact, he loves to draw. You may ask, what does a dance club have to do with it? It's simple. Howard loves to paint graffiti on the walls, 
and there are a lot of different colors in the dance club. Howard has loved drawing since childhood. As a child, he was the best artist in his school. One day when Howard was in junior high, he decided to stay at school overnight, but not just for any reason. Howard really wanted to show all his classmates and teachers how beautifully he could draw. He decided to draw on all the desks, anticipating how everyone would praise his drawings. However, when morning came, all the students and the teacher were horrified. The teacher scolded Howard because drawing on school desks is prohibited. But Howard's love for drawing on different things has remained to this day, so he decided to create graffiti to decorate the club. But the love of drawing is not Howard's main secret. Despite the fact that Howard has been painting graffiti in the club for many years, he could not solve one riddle for a very long time. The club has a closet with metal doors that Howard couldn't open with his hands, but he was always interested to find out what was in it. Howard has been thinking for a very long time about how to open this closet, and he came up with it. To do this, he needed to go to school to take one thing there. He searched the whole school looking for this thing and finally found it in the closet in the office. It was a magnet. Howard wanted to try to open metal doors with this magnet. He took the magnet and went back to the club. When Howard walked into the club with a magnet, everyone looked at him like a madman. The visitors didn't understand why someone needed a magnet in the club, but Howard ignored them and immediately ran to the door. As soon as he presented the magnet to the closet, it immediately opened. All the visitors were shocked because no one had ever opened this cabinet. There were a lot of things in the closet. There were two gas masks, a heart-shaped nozzle on a can of paint, two vinyl records, and a bunch of different stickers. Howard was very happy that he was able to open this closet. He put on a gas mask and began to decorate all the walls of the club with paint and stickers. Now I'm going to tell you a story about another character who also works at the train station. Despite the fact that this character and Howard work in the same place, they don't look like each other at all. This is Howard's wife, Grace. Grace has been working as a cashier at the railway station for a very long time, since its opening. The most important difference between Grace and Howard is that Grace does not rest at all. While Howard is sleeping, she is constantly working at the computer, even on weekends. Grace is a real hard worker and dedicated to her work. Her working day starts early in the morning and ends late at night, and she always tries to provide passengers with the most convenient tickets and information about trains. For her dedication to the station, she was even awarded a medal for the title of the most hardworking employee. When the working day ends and all the station workers go home, and Howard goes to paint graffiti, Grace does not leave with them. She has a hobby that none of her colleagues knows about. At night, the cashier goes to dance ballet with her friends and teacher. They train all night because they all really love to dance ballet. As a child, Grace wanted to become a ballerina, but this profession requires very serious training. Now Grace has already become a professional dancer and thus realized her childhood dream. Therefore, now she can perform in front of a large audience, showing everyone her dancing skills. Grace is also always welcome at the dance club, because their people can dance not only breakdance, but also more classical dances, such as ballet. Hello friends, today I'm going to tell you about one of the most secret Avatar World characters that you probably don't know anything about. This character can be found in the regular version of the game, but he has one difference from all the other characters. Few people manage to find this character right away, since the chance that he will appear the first time is 1%. However, I managed to do it, and today I will show you this character. She is located in a new location, in a bakery. This is Grandma Amelia. It could be found only in one place, in a corner of the old district of the city where there was a small bakery. In her youth, Amelia worked as a geologist and traveled around the world studying mountain systems and natural resources. Her travels were full of dangers and adventures and she learned a lot about the secrets of the earth. But why did Amelia like to be in the bakery and not to relax in nature? Because in her youth, she was a geologist and not a baker. In fact, on one of her travels, Amelia accidentally wandered into a children's camp. Due to the fact that she hadn't eaten for so long, Amelia was ready to eat anything. At the children's camp, she found a building that had a kitchen. There was a huge pile of food. Amelia, without hesitation, began to eat everything that was on the table. Perhaps you may ask how this journey is connected with the bakery. In fact, everything is very simple. Look at what was on the table. These are sandwiches that are made of bread, that is, pastries. Because of her love of sandwiches and bread, Amelia decided to become a baker. Now you know that her career as a baker began with this interesting story. From that moment on, Amelia devoted her life to creating unique desserts and pastries, and she really enjoyed cooking pies, cakes, and other delicious pastries. Over time, she became a chef, and her bakery became very popular in the city of Avatar World, just like Amelia herself. But when Amelia got older, she realized that she could no longer bake pies the way it used to be. Amelia is already 73 years old, and it's time for her to retire. 
but she didn't want to part with the bakery so much that she tried to work there as long as possible and bake pies. But still, it was already hard for Amelia to cook so many pies, and she decided to retire. She left the bakery to her best chefs, and now she often goes to the bakery to eat the most delicious pastries in Avatar world and feel the passion for cooking pies, because she loves them very much. Because of this passion and dedication to the art of the bakery, Amelia spent most of her time exclusively there. So now I'm going to tell you about another character. At first glance, he looks pretty simple, but in fact, no one knows about his secret hobby. However, I'll tell you about it now. This character's name is Jim. He's about 30 years old and he constantly looks tired. You can find it on the outskirts of the city in a small house. Jim sleeps on the bed all the time. And do you know why? And all because of his hobby. Jim is interested in astronomy. He is looking for constellations and new planets in the sky. At night, he goes out into the yard and looks at the sky, but not just like that. He has a small telescope that can zoom in as much as 100 times. Thanks to this telescope, Jim can clearly see the constellations and planets. By the way, Jim has an unusual nightlight. It is needed in order to project constellations. Thanks to him, Jim finds constellations much faster because the nightlight shows what he needs to look for. And due to the fact that Jim spends all night under the night sky looking at the stars, he is constantly tired during the day and sleeps on the bed. Jim doesn't live in the house alone. His wife Isabella also lives here. Isabella, unlike Jim, works constantly during the day. She works as a designer, so she is constantly sitting at her laptop. You can find her at the kitchen table. Because of the large amount of work, Isabella does not have time to monitor the garden, so nothing grows in the yard on the flower bed, and the flowers in Jim's room wilted. Isabella does not like that Jim sleeps all day because of his hobby, but she also loves to watch the stars in the night sky, although she does not do it as often as Jim. Jim and Isabella have a daughter. Her name is Mia. She is 14 years old and she always sits in her room. Mia is a very creative girl. She makes music, creates scenes from paper characters, plays video games, and even rides a skateboard. Mia doesn't like going to school. She prefers to study at home more. Her favorite subject, oddly enough, is music. There is no equal in Mia's music, because right at her house there is everything you need to become the most professional musician. You have already seen the microphone, guitar, and speaker, which are lying near the closet. However, if you turn on the computer, you will see that a music program is running on it too. Mia dreams of becoming a rock musician when she grows up. She dreams of singing songs on the big stage at her concert, which will be attended by thousands of fans. Now I'm going to tell you a story about a girl from the mall. She's standing in a room with a bunch of different toys. There are plush toys, pinatas, helicopters, cars, blasters with bubbles, and much more. This girl with beautiful hair is called Elsa. Have you noticed what is behind Elsa? Yes, that's right. Right behind her head is the sequence of keystrokes of this huge toy piano. If you press the keys as shown here, then the gates of this toy castle will open. Wow, there are so many toys here. There's even a train. Do you know why there is such an unusual lock installed here, which Elsa closes with her head? In fact, it's because Elsa hid all her toys here and is now hiding this place because she doesn't want all the inhabitants of the Avatar world to play with them. In this castle, no one can take toys without Elsa's permission. By the way, when night falls and all visitors to the Avatar World shopping center go home, Elsa opens the lock and plays with toys. Here is a whole set of toys from a small kingdom. There are princesses, a carriage, a white horse, and a small castle. And instead of a dragon figurine, there is a whole train in the form of a dragon on which Elsa loves to ride so much. Among all the toys that are in this mall, Elsa has two most favorite toys. This is a bubble blaster that appears if you take a ride on a train, and this is the princess in a green dress. So now I'm going to tell a story about a very important character in the Avatar world. Without him, there would be no food and products in the supermarket because there would be no one to unload them. This character's name is Jacob, and he unloads cars with food, which he then puts on shelves in the store. In addition, Jacob also loads these machines, which then deliver food to other supermarkets and to people who have ordered food delivery at home. Immediately after receiving the boxes of food, Jacob begins to put all this food on the shelves and departments of the supermarket. The main thing is not to mix up the food and put all the products in their places. Fruits, together with fruits. Pastries, together with pastries. Jacob is the only person in the supermarket who can properly put all the products in their places because he has worked here for more than 10 years and has already worked as a cashier, baker, butcher, and even a beekeeper. 
He can arrange all the food accurately in its place even with his eyes closed. However, no matter how he understood the supermarket, one day there was an incident because of which he was almost fired. All because of one small mistake that Jacob made because of his absent-mindedness. This incident happened 10 years ago when Jacob was 20 years old. Jacob was new to unloading food trucks because he had just got a job at a supermarket back then. He, as now, was instructed to unload and load the cars that deliver food. And so, Jacob, as if nothing had happened, loaded the car with food. The car had to go home to one of the customers to deliver eggs, flour, and sugar so that the customer baked a pie. But instead of three eggs, flour, and sugar, Jacob accidentally put there a box with nine pieces of different raw meat. Jacob's boss decided not to fire him because Jacob did it by accident because he had just started working in the supermarket. Jacob's boss, Jim, instructed Jacob to apologize to the buyer and send him some product completely free of charge. Jacob listened to Jim, and in order for the upset buyer to forgive him, Jacob sent the buyer one large box. In this box, instead of ingredients from which you can bake a pie, Jacob put a whole bunch of different pies as an apology. The customer got his food and forgave Jacob. Because of this story, Jacob could have lost his job, but thanks to the ingenuity of his boss and the kindness of the client, he stayed working in the supermarket and was not fired. Hello, friends. Today I will tell you the story of a completely new character, about whom nothing is known at all, because he appeared in the game quite recently. Well, let's get started. This character is called Brown Raccoon because she wears a tail very similar to a raccoon's tail, but it is brown. Her real name is Isabella, and she loves animals very much. Isabella appeared in Avatar World quite recently. It appeared together with an update in which a pet store was added. It is in the pet store that you can find Isabella. She appears in different places because she constantly looks after the store and the animals. Who do you think is Isabella's favorite pet? Maybe it's the fish in the aquarium? Or these cute little rabbits? Well, all these animals are really good. But Isabella's favorite pet is a little red kitten. Isabella met this kitten by chance. At night, when everyone was already going home and the store was closing, Isabella saw a kitten that climbed on a pole and meowed. Isabella immediately decided that she needed to save the kitten. She couldn't jump to it and decided that she needed to apply it to herself. Isabella picked up a bait toy and came closer to the pole so that the kitten could come down right into her arms. That's how Isabella met this red kitten. By the way, she called the kitten a seagull because he was sitting as high as seagulls fly. Now I will tell you the story of a man who takes care of all the animals on the street. This is Lily and she works at a pet store. Perhaps you thought she was working as a salesperson. But no, the seller's name is Megan. She is sitting at the checkout at the very entrance to the store, and it is she who sells animals. By the way, I will also tell Megan's story in this video, but a little later. So let's get started. Lily is a volunteer at a pet store. She finds stray animals on the street and takes them to a mini shelter next to a pet store. In the shelter, each animal has its own house. There are hamsters, rabbits, cats, and even dogs her. Lily takes care that the animals fall into good hands and helps them find a new owner as soon as possible. In the pet store, people can not only buy toys and food for their animals, but also take some animal to themselves absolutely for free. Lily has been working here for a very long time and she loves animals very much. Her favorite animal is this hamster. This hamster came to the shelter quite recently, or rather he is the newest resident here. Lily picked up a hamster not far from the shelter and decided to take him to her. Here the hamster found a friend and now they live together. Now that the whole shelter is full, Lily can only look after the animals that live in it. Now as promised, I will tell the story of the cashier, Megan. Megan has been working at the pet store for a very long time. She's been here since the store opened. Megan really wanted to get this job because she loves animals very much. When Megan got a job at a pet store, she was very happy. Her long-awaited dream came true and now she could spend every day among a variety of animals. Megan became not only a cashier, but also a trusted employee, who was sometimes trusted to take care of the animals in the store. She carefully studied the needs and characteristics of each animal that was sold in the pet store and lived in the shelter. Megan always paid special attention to taking care of them, and therefore the animals in the pet store always looked healthy and happy. Her concern attracted customers, and many of them became her regular customers. Now Megan is so well-versed in animals that she is no longer just a cashier. And I will tell you this story. More recently, Megan helped one of the clients find a suitable animal for him. Megan thought for a long time about which pet to advise him, and suddenly an idea came to her. The client had headphones in the form of cat ears on his head, and his hair was gray. Megan immediately came up with what kind of animal would suit the client. 
It was a cat named Alice, and she was exactly the same color as the client's hair. A client named Brittany liked Alice's cat so much that she decided to write thanks to Megan for such a good pet in the book of suggestions and comments. When the director saw this gratitude, he immediately appointed Megan the head of the pet store. The next one whose story I will tell you will be Megan's assistant, Daniel. Daniel also started working in a pet store quite recently. Unlike Megan and Lily was mostly worked at the shelter, Daniel preferred to speed most of his time in the store and not in the shelter. He liked the animals that stood in terrariums more, and it was comfortable for him to communicate with visitors and the opportunity to help them choose the best companions for their families from animals that live in aquariums or terrariums. Daniel helped clients not only with the choice of an animal, but also with how to take care of it. For example, hamsters and snakes live in terrariums. Terrariums are aquariums in which instead of water and algae, ordinary grass grows dry and stones lie. It's like in the wild. So Daniel became an expert not only on animals, but also on terrariums. He helped visitors choose toys, decorations, and terrariums themselves, specifically for the animals they bought so that they could feel at home. So, the next character whose story I will tell you today will be this inconspicuous girl with a very strange past. Do you know why she has horns on her head? No? I'll tell you now. This mysterious character from Avatar World is found in the pet store. This is Gracie, and she's wearing deer antlers on her head. Gracie loves animals very much, but not at all the ones you might think of. One day she came to the pet store for a pet, but she didn't want to find a small animal like a cat, dog, or hamster. Gracie came to the store to shelter a deer. Everyone in the store was shocked because they could not even think that such large animals could be made pets. However, Gracie explained that she does not live in the city, but in the village. And in the village, there are special pens for such large animals where they can feel quite at home. Do you think the shelter allowed Gracie to shelter the deer? Unfortunately, no. After all, there are no such big animals in the pet store. Such animals are found in forests, but it is almost impossible to find them in the city. There is no place for a deer in a pet store either, because it is designed for small animals. In order for Gracie not to get upset, Megan and Daniel decided that she needed to give some pet for free. They thought for a long time about how to replace the deer, and decided that they would give a little yellow puppy. Gracie was very happy with such a gift, because in addition to a deer, she wanted a real pet, and a dog is perfect for this. She named the puppy Sunny, and promised to take care of him always. Thus, Gracie found her faithful companion, and Megan and Daniel were very pleased that Gracie liked the puppy, and that they did everything possible to make this moment special and unforgettable for the little girl. Now, Gracie comes to the pet store for an unusual reason. Usually, customers come there to buy food, toys for pets, or the animals themselves. Gracie goes to the pet store to visit Megan and Daniel, because after they gave Gracie a puppy, the girl promised them that she would often visit them with her puppy, Alex. Megan, Daniel, and Gracie became best friends, and since then, every weekend they met at the playground near the shelter to play with each other and with animals in different games. Well, now it's time to tell you about a character that at first glance is not strongly associated with animals, but it's not. It's Jenny, and she's wearing a dragon's tail and wings. Hmm, are you sure it's a dragon's tail? It's actually a reptile's tail. Jenny is very fond of reptiles, and in particular, chameleons and lizards. She often goes to the reptile room to look at them. That's just reptiles do not like to go outside, and they almost always sit behind a stone and in a long. Because of this, Jenny rarely gets to see them, but still sometimes she does. Despite the evasive nature of these reptiles, Jenny's passion for them has remained unchanged. She spent hours watching terrariums, hoping that today she would be lucky to see reptiles. The store staff even began to consider her an expert on reptiles and could always turn to her for valuable advice and knowledge if customers were interested in these unique creatures. Jenny loves reptiles very much, but she also likes other animals. Most of all, apart from reptiles, she likes dogs and cats. Therefore, she continued to go to the pet store often to admire different animals, and sometimes she even managed to play with them in the yard near the shelter. And now she has new friends, other visitors to the pet store. Hello friends, I'm Rosa. More recently, a new location has appeared in Avatar World. Now I will tell you the story of the appearance of one of the main characters of this location. Our new mysterious character is not human. It may seem like it's just a mannequin, but it's far from simple. His name is Austin and he doesn't move at all, but just stands still. In fact, he does it for a reason. 
He used to have a ball in his hands, but an unusual one, because this ball allowed Austin to move just like a human. However, one day Austin dropped his unusual ball on the floor. A passing employee of the store decided that one of the children had forgotten it here and put it on the showcase so that the owner could notice it and take it back. Without this ball, Austin can't move. So he couldn't take it and stayed standing like that for a very long time. He stood there until one little girl took this ball. As soon as the girl girl took the ball out from behind the showcase, this ball immediately jumped out of her hands. He rolled himself to Austin. All the visitors of the store were shocked because of the ball that rolls by itself. And so, when the ball rolled to Austin, he jumped right into his hand and Austin seemed to come to life again and began to dance. Austin was very happy that he could move again. When he started moving, the store clerk immediately ran up to him. She was very surprised because she had never seen Austin move and thought it was just a mannequin. The saleswoman asked Austin how he does it, and Austin told her that all the balls in this store are alive. They can talk to each other and laugh. The saleswoman looked at Austin with disbelief. Her eyes widened, and she couldn't believe her eyes. She was ready to think that this was some kind of joke or trick. Balls that can move and talk? Are you really not joking right now? The saleswoman asked. Austin advised her to look at the pipe with balls. The moment the saleswoman turned around, all the balls really started talking. She was very surprised, because now she has a lot of new friends. Although before she could not even think that she was surrounded by such interesting things. So the next character I'm going to tell you about today is the girl who took Austin's ball from the showcase. Her name is Iris, and she is very often in this clothing store. She's wearing a beautiful rainbow sweater with a heart. Have you noticed the frog-shaped hat on Iris's head? She wears it for a reason. Iris loves frogs very much. Sometimes she comes to the pond to see her friend Frog. Together, they can spend a lot of time and play until the evening. Iris loves not only bright things and frogs, but also loves sweets. Her weakness is chocolate bars from the supermarket, which she constantly carries in her pockets. However, when she decides to treat herself to something special, the choice always falls on strawberry ice cream. Iris claims that there is something magical in every spoonful of this ice cream, which makes her days even brighter. In addition to the frog, Iris has another even more unusual friend. Of course, it's Austin. After everyone found out that Austin is not just a mannequin, he and Iris immediately became friends. Together, they like to choose clothes, sneakers, and hats. And they also like to take funny photos together. The next character whose story you will hear today will be the saleswoman of this new store. Her name is Mandy, but most often people call her Miss Fashion for her unusual choice of very stylish clothes. It seemed to attract the attention of everyone who crossed the threshold of her store. Miss Fashion was a cheerful girl with dreams of making her store a place where everyone can find something special from clothes. Her clothing store, called The Land of Style and Charms, became a unique place in the city where all people could find everything from unusual magic hats to rare vintage sneakers. Mandy has her own fascinating hobby. This is the organization of magical photo shoots. Mandy loves to photograph her friends and visitors in a variety of styles using the magical ability of an unusual place in her store. This place was a magical locker room when a character enters a magical locker room, magic happens immediately. Other fashionable clothes from the store appear, creating the perfect image for a future photo shoot. All the outfits are bright and unique. Mandy becomes not only a stylist, but also a photographer capturing moments of magic and style. In the afternoon, she arranges photo shoots, not forgetting to sell goods at the checkout. These photo shoots not only cheer up and bring bright colors to her life, but also serve as a source of inspiration for her store and new clothing collections. Thus, Mandy's hobby becomes not only a creative hobby, but also a way to share the magic of her store with others, creating unique and inimitable moments of style and beauty. The next character will be very similar to Mandy in his work. However, these are two completely different characters who also have a lot of differences. And so, the character I'm going to tell you about is Tom. Have you already guessed who and where he works? Tom, as well as Mandy, works as a salesman in the store The Land of Style and Charms, and now I'll tell you about him. Tom started working in this magic shop much later than Mandy. Before starting his career as a salesman, this mysterious character worked at a secret job that no one knew about. By the way, I completely forgot to tell you, Tom loves animals very much. So he used to work in a pet store. His position was top secret, but now I'll tell you about it. Tom went to camps, forests, and other places where animals can live. He was looking for animals with whom something had happened to help them. One day he found a little dog named Daisy right in the forest. She had a twisted leg and it was very painful for her to walk. Tom immediately took her with him and took her to the vet to help her. Soon after the treatment, Daisy's leg completely recovered and the dog was able to walk again. And in order for the dog to be able to find a new owner, Tom took her to the kennel. There Daisy found new friends and soon a new owner who took her home and took care of her. 
After several years of caring for animals at the pet store, Tom decided it was time for a change. Always passionate about fashion and style, Tom decided to invest his energy and creativity in the world of clothing. He drew attention to the vacancy of the seller in the store, the Land of Style and Charms, which was famous for its unique range of stylish clothes for people. Having decided on a change, Tom applied and, thanks to his multifaceted skills and benevolent nature, was accepted into the team. In the Land of Style and Charms, Tom took on the role of stylist and salesman, helping customers choose relevant and fashionable outfits. So Tom found his place in the fashion world, despite the change in the field of activity. And also, Tom visited Daisy several times after work because they were real friends with him. It's time to tell you the story of the appearance of another character of this magical clothing store. You can meet him quite often, all because he loves shopping very much. Meet Danny, and in the store, the land of style and charms, he is a buyer. He doesn't work in this store, but in this one. Yes, it's also a clothing store, but it's much smaller than Mandy's. So one day after work, Danny decided to go to Mandy's store, but an unexpected problem was waiting for him. By the time Danny was released from work, the store was already closed. So he had to go home to sleep and wait for the next day. The next day, Danny quickly ran into the store before work to ask Mandy not to close it until he arrived. Mandy agreed and decided to help Danny. And so, when night came, Danny came to the store, where a very sleepy Mandy was waiting for him. Danny also wanted to sleep, but not as much as she did. So Danny spent some time choosing clothes for himself, and in the end he chose this very unusual jacket. Mandy happily gave it to him, and they went home. Since then, you can often notice that Mandy's store didn't close at night, and all because friends arrange a homemade fashion show there and experiment with different styles of clothes. The next character in this video will also be from the store, The Land of Style and Charms. You've probably already noticed her today. She's standing right next to our magical character, Austin, all the time. It's a girl named Peggy. All visitors and employees in this store are really waiting for her to come. Do you know why? That's because Peggy works as a pastry chef. This is both her hobby and her job, because she loves sweets very much. After her work, she takes with her a lot of different pies, buns, and other sweets. Despite the fact that her working day ends late at night, Peggy does not go home. Instead, she goes to Mandy's store, where all her friends and Mandy herself are waiting for her. As you remember, before leaving work, the girl always takes treats with her. Therefore, when she comes to the store, she treats everyone with different sweets and goodies. All visitors of the store are very fond of Peggy and her treats. When everyone has eaten, friends do not go home. They stay to have fun and play dress up. One day, when Peggy came to the store, she met a new guest, the talented Victoria. Victoria was a famous stylist from a nearby town. With her wonderful sense of style, she brought a fresh take on fashion and beauty to the store. Victoria invited them to arrange a contest for the best stylish outfit. Peggy and her friends took up the choice of fashionable images, creating amazing stylistic combinations. Then they staged a small fashion show in the store, showing off their creations. 